Ladies and gentlemen, it's the 2014 PDC World Darts Championship in Hood we have here. The five times world champion, the legend, Eric Bristow. Nice to see you, Eric. How are you, Eric? Yeah, all good. I think we better start off today, if you don't mind talking about just the basic 2 9 dart checkouts today. One from Terry, one from Carl. When I looked at all the draws of that, I mean, we've got a double session today. I looked at this little session and I thought, this is going to be boring, this session. <laughs> Seriously, nothing against them. You know? I mean, there's no, like I call, like top shooters there, you know what I mean? And uh, it just shows you how strong our, our dart players are now. You know I mean, you've got uh, Terry Jenkins go up and up there, done a nine darter, and then done his normal thing, choked again on them two last legs, three darts at a double each. And then that Carl Anderson, he comes on and follows it up with, and where did he pull that from? I'm as sweet as a nut. Yeah, I mean, uh, and then he loses as well. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm chatting downstairs with Dubbridge and that. I said, look, if you get a shot of nine darts tonight, make sure you do it the last leg of the match, because otherwise you'll lose. <laughs> so, You're right, it happens so many times. I'm not just, a, you know, 50% of the time. I was probably nine times out of ten. I don't know the exact facts, but probably is. They always lose. Concentration goes maybe a little bit different from Carl's game, but Terry, I mean, he was, he had, I mean, he had a 170 checkout. He was all going. 170 check, yeah. 11 one, 180s. Uh, but then, yeah, as I say, the last two legs, he had three dots at double, yeah. both legs. So that was. And the second one, he wanted double 18, he, and 18, he went, for, he went for double nine to stay alive. He yeah, was above double 12, it was, <laughs> yeah. he bottled it. He, it yeah. To be quite honest, he choked. But I mean, that's why he's never won a major. I mean, well, that was it. But he's been playing better lately. Yeah. Because he had a bad patch about two years ago. He's playing better again, but he's, he's not going to win a major, and that's it. It, it, it is tough. The standard now is, uh, realistically, I mean, no, we're talking obviously first round and we're talking about two nine dieters. First round. And not even halfway through the first round. Not even halfway through, says the standard <laughs> so far. And like I said, perhaps we've seen Phil, but a lot of the big hitters, you know, we haven't seen Adrian, we haven't seen Michael, we haven't seen James, anything like that. No. So, I mean, uh, £30,000 from Terry, he's going home. Yeah, he's flawed in the first he's round. Now, he's got his 15. <laughs> 15. And there'll be another nine dieter, he goes down to 10, and then you get another one, seven and a half, and six, and five. And then pay for his expenses for the for, 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 yeah, for the tournament. I, mean, be I said before it started there before, so I'm I'm well in front now. Yeah. And as I say, and there's no big hit that's gone out. No, no. I mean, so uh, and the two that have hit it. All right, maybe you were not surprised that Jenkins hit a one. Yeah. Because he's he's always been a 180 scorer yeah, yeah. and big finisher. That's always been his forte, big finishing. Yeah. So the one four one was never going to frighten him. No. But Carl Anderson, I mean. Uh, just shows how good these foreigners are now. Yeah. It worked out twice today. Yeah. One's hit a nine data, and one's gone on to get through. Yeah. After uh, after get yeah, Paul Larson played lovely. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a good game as he well. He played steady it? all the way through. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and he, we all know he's a good player. I mean, I played against him 25 yeah. years ago. He's been around that long. Yeah. I mean, but he's always a tough player to beat. But you hit him with a couple of big shots. He always hit them bad shots. Then you put him to bed. Yeah. Done. But he played a steady, consistent game there and, and done a couple of big finishes himself that kept him in the game. One, two, two was a cracking shot. Yeah, the leg huge. after he'd done the nine dar. Yeah, yeah. But it's good. I mean, it's, uh, as I say, we've only played 10 games. Ten, ten, 10 games of the first round. <laughs> <laughs> really we've ridiculous. had two nine darters. We've had a 170 finish. We've had that many 180s. Up, the 180s records are going to get beat again. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, I think. But there must be an eight dart coming. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're that good. I believe I've been told that the sponsors, the sponsors of Labbrooks here, of the, after the first nine dart, said another nine dart today, 125 to one. Right. Yeah, nice to hear, isn't it? Well, people put a couple of quid on it. Yeah. Especially if you were collecting the money of, of the first nine dart. Yeah. And say you've 180 or whatever, and then you see, if you get another nine dart today, it's 125 to one, you go, you go five, wouldn't you? Because yeah. you won it, it's their money, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And that's when you win. Yeah, you're right. But yeah. you wouldn't have it. With that, because that was only the last game to go. With, with them two playing, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't have thought of it. No, no, no. So go back. So when you ruled the world of diets, there was a couple of occasions you were on the verge, when you and Jockey. I, uh, Jockey, Jockey should have been the first one to it on TV. Yeah. He missed it against Keith Teller in '83. Yeah, yeah. And that's what cost Jockey the semi-final. Yeah. Because yeah. he wanted to be. He, he clipped double eighteen. Yeah, yeah. So and, and done a ten. I never had a shot at nine. I had uh, eight or nine times I had the first seven in. Yeah, that's yeah, we threw them back to you. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Never, it, never had a shot. So I never missed, I never bottled it, I never yeah. had a shot at it. Well, you didn't bottle anything, Eric, no, not, no, not well, in your no, day. I, I just bottled the eighth dart. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I think looking at the uh, out there, I mean, in, you would have loved this, wouldn't you, playing in front, I mean, you played in front of massive credicals, news of the world here and things, but. Uh, I played in front, played in front of 10,000. I played in front of 10,000 when I won the news of the world. Yeah. You know, yeah. at Wembley Conference Centre and all that. So, I mean,. Uh, it's just the same as going back in time. I used to have a news of the world here with 20,000 20, people here. 
and Thanks. Clough Caps. You look at some of the old pictures here. It was Ali Pally. So yeah. It's just gone like a full circle. Yeah, yeah. But, but that was a different game. That was three legs of five oh one. In and chuck from eight foot. Yeah, yeah. But well, well, I used to used, used to practice it from eight foot three. Yeah. Oh, to make it. Oh, right. So I used to two hours before and practice from eight foot three, and then when you went on stage, it seemed closer. It seemed closer, right? Yeah. Maybe a lot of other players did that as well, but that was my little trick. Yeah. So it's, it's, the last thing you want to do is go up there and stretch. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. Yeah, I can, can imagine that. And best of three legs. That's a long way to travel for a lot of these. Well, we used to go to Vegas to play the North American Open, which would be best of three, 3 0 one. That's a long way back first round, isn't it? Nin 96 dart balls in the Sahara Hotel, 2,200 players in it. All your names on a big card like that. And they shuffle them up like that, and they draw them out by cards. And as soon as you go, as soon as you win, you go back and put your winning card in. And if John Lowe had won on the board there, and you see him go and put his card in, then I used to go and have a drink, and let another couple of twenty people put their card in. Yeah. And then you, and then you, you put your card. Yeah. No, you don't get each other. I don't want to be playing John Lowe <laughs> next round. And, no, he, no, and he'd no, do no. the same with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? See, that's how the draw would come out. Don't yeah. Want to be just big them. cards. Yeah. On to the rest of the tournament, if you don't mind, uh, Eric. Obviously, uh, your good friend Phil, he's red hot favourite. I mean, 20, 24 years after he wins his world championship, he starts this tournament odds on favourite. That's just impossible. I cannot believe that if, you know. He's had a good year, though. Yeah, he's been fantastic. He's only lost two tournaments, and, and Mighty Mike's done him twice. Yeah. And Gerwin. Yeah. Beat him in the Premier League final, and also beat him in the Players' Championship, yeah. the last tournament. Yeah. yeah. Mike was not frightened of him. Um, Michael could take him out. Uh, I think you'd have to make him favourite. Yeah. I wouldn't have made him that low price favourite. No. But then again, the bookies don't want to give you too much with Phil. If you, if you yeah. start giving him seven to twos, yeah, they're ploughing in on that, aren't they? All the big punters are going to come yeah. in and have two hundreds, four hundreds, yeah. and yeah. and all of a sudden they do get wet. And all of a sudden, once he's in the final, he's not a seven to two, is he? No, no, he is not. And a seven to two. looking at the draw, he's got a lovely draw. All yeah. the big hitters in the other yeah. half. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I, 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 I think he plays a pie man next, or someone like that. Yeah, or? yeah I, I think yeah. We, in the last we go last thirty two because we uh, we're here. Yeah, we, well, Mi Michael, Michael Smith, of course, world youth champion, maybe a danger. Uh, Peter Wright, last last six. Well, that'd be a tough guy. <laughs> yeah, because he hits big scores, doesn't yeah, he? Bigger. Yeah. It would take. It would take uh, he's playing it for the Anderson now. Yeah, and then yeah, and then Larson. Larson. Yeah, yeah, and then seeded maybe last eight to, for Wes Newton, but of course he. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's only got to worry about Wright. The only player who can beat him in that in section. Then I think I think Whitlock's got a lovely little lot here. Yeah, yeah. Whitlock yeah. or Kim Irex, that lot. Yeah. There's nobody else there. Yeah. I mean, no, there's no, nobody else there. These seeds. Nicholson ain't going to do it. Painter ain't going to do it. Walsh's out. Whitlock's okay. White's okay. Irex's okay. But they're all playing each other out of that yeah. lot. Yeah. So. And then in the other this half. Lot here, yeah. Like you've got Van Gerwen and you, Wayne Jones always out here. You've got McDine, Mad Gary Anderson, Anderson. Chisnell. Chisnell, big hitter. Yeah. Webb's, no, his time's gone. Barney, whoever turns up, but he can play. Some. Yeah. Caven. Yeah, dangerous. Again, 105 averages. He, he's capable, isn't Beating he? all the top fours all year. Yeah, that's what we like. <laughs> Wade, hey, if he comes up with his right head on. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Fireman, no, no. Uh, pipe, dangerous. Yeah. Good yeah. play. He, he can yeah. do an 100 average. Yeah. But, and, but he's slow. It puts him off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he's good. Beaten, could beat anyone. Yeah, he won't win the tournament. No, no. Couldn't take the top. Yeah, there. that's right. With a lovely throw, but there's a big player here. Lewis, oh. uh, Unbelievable. He's playing just well lost now. Just a game of 110 average, 18 one eighties. What did he do wrong? Yeah. Uh, is it? He lost 16 nine, 18 one eighties. Is it twice as many one eighties as it doubles? Yeah. And he had 110 average and lost. So unbelievable, I mean, unbelievable. It's in more trebles than he do singles. Oh, now. Yes, yes. It's frightening. And uh, Mer Mervin. Merv King. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I've, I think Merv King's been a bit of a letdown to me the last two or three years. Yeah, I, I, he's I, never threatened, has he, the nah, big tournaments? I've classed him as a better player than that. and he's. Yeah. But then again, he's, he can play the game. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. bottle it, he just, he just loses the tough games. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. Don't, he don't, when, the, when the fight gets on, he seems yeah. to get a couple of body yeah. blows and just. You, you, you don't expect it's him in the semi final any and no, anything not like that. Not in that bottom half. No, it's, Up there it's, he might have had a chance. Yeah. Would you say then realistically we're talking about a Phil, Adrian final, Phil, Michael final, yeah, realistically. That's what I said to start with. Yeah. And that's yeah. what the crowd want, don't they? Well, that's that's, in the end they want it. But they yeah. want to see good games, they yeah. want to see the nine darts, which we have done already. Yeah. And it's just a couple more to come. And there's gonna be a few more shocks. Yeah. And people are disappearing out of the rankings through this tournament. Yeah. It's such big prize, prize money. money. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that first round jumped from six to ten grand. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so the, the boys that are going through, 
Yeah, it, it is. And I was looking at the, the rankings earlier on. I think like uh, Dave Chisnell, I know Dave very well, was number seven. But of course, the four players above him uh, two years ago were the ranking money codes. They all come down. Adrian defending 200,000. Yeah. yeah, Andy 100,000. And James and Simon at 50,000. Now, all of a sudden, he's pr uh, number four in the world going into this. Obviously, you've got to do the business here. You want to see Gary Anderson do well, Richard. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? He's got a tough little game. And Mark Dubridge back from injury, playing beautiful, Play isn't well. he? Yeah, I played that up near him uh, in Bristol, and uh, we were doing an exhibition three or four of us. And he was in the other room. There was oh, like yeah, it was it was Bristol yeah, South, yeah, Bristol North, North. Yeah, it was brilliant. Like yeah. a war zone in the <laughs> other place. You know what I mean? They, they didn't like each other. <laughs> no, he played Steve true. Brown's team. Yeah, he? yeah, that's right. Yeah, and they killed Steve Brown's team. Yeah, they Steve were fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was. I I didn't see that, and I was sweating, and that was nothing to do with the temperature. It was oh. pressure on stage. <laughs> do you want to make it? Didn't like each other. Bristol South. <laughs> Bristol North and Bristol South. No, yeah. no that, that was a cracking day with Sir Mark and, and, and Steve at Organo. There was a war going on, wasn't there? <laughs> it was brilliant. And, and Eric, when the Legends Tour was in the other room, and that was that was a crack, cracking evening, Bristol, a few months ago. Well, Eric, that's absolutely fantastic. Hopefully you don't mind coming back uh, perhaps in a week yeah, and, and, yeah, and give us your expert opinion. get a few of these players before they go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few I'll be way. here at the end. Yeah, you will be. And we'll just cross these off, you know what I mean? As I go along. So he ain't going to win it part. No, three times world champion. Can't, can't, probably can't win it. And that, nah, that, that no says chance. it all, doesn't no, it? No, I mean, he's just lucky, lucky boy to get through. Yeah, see, what in the first round. Yeah. Well, ladies. Uh, Somebody's yeah. had a few they beers. Drink, they, they do like a drink here. Yeah, was that all yours, Eric? That's the players room. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on Tunks and Tales. It's the legend, the f former five times champion of the world, Eric Bristow. Don't forget, Tunks and Tales, the sharp end of world darts. Thanks for joining us.